Meet Pete Negative. He's been tasked as a drifter. He'll be laying the groundwork to build his world up around him. Can he do it? Hey guys, this is your friend Les. Welcome to another episode of the Drifter Challenge. And if you're wondering, whoa, where did that big TV screen came from? Come from, came from? I can't talk, I'm so sorry. Uh, well, where that came from, it uh, was from the live broadcast. Uh, yeah, so quite a few things happened. Lots of appliances broke, so we spent a lot of our time recording. We painted this mathematical diagram to kind of help get everybody focused so the the kitties would do their homework which you know they are at school right now um but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it we had a lot of fun so for those of you that came out to the live broadcast the other day thank you so much i had a lot of fun and it seemed like everybody else did as well at least i i hope that's the case and if we should do another one again sometime let me know and we'll do just that for the drifter challenge of course so Pete is eating. Christina, poor dear, is is so tense because she's unemployed. She she has the uh, the ambitious trait. So I feel so bad. She's constantly, constantly tense because she just can't uh, do anything about not going to work, and it makes her tense. So yeah. So uh, let's see. Looks like they're gonna kiss. And also, Bills just came in. They're, they're only 276 simoleons. Um, so that's not too bad. I think I'll go ahead and I'll have Pete go ahead and pay those bills. We get $447. And as you can see, they, they now have a house. Can you believe it? They have a house. I am so happy for them. It's not much of a house. It's a, it's a bit of a shack. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to breed one of those frogs and we're going to open up the stack and we're just going to go ahead and sell one uh, right now. So Pete, he doesn't go to work for another 22 hours. Hopefully when he goes to work, uh, he will, uh, he will, um, excuse me, what am I thinking? He'll get that promotion. That's, that's what I was trying to think of. Uh-oh, let's see, unfinished assignment. When Todd gets to class, he, re he realizes his timeline is due. The one he was supposed to start weeks ago. He eyes a stack of papers piling up on his teacher's desk. All he needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does he try to copy a classmate, or confess the truth? Hmm. I don't know what we should do. What do you guys think uh, we should do? Well, you can't tell me what to do because we're not live broadcasting. Shucks. All right, so <laughs> let's uh, let's copy a classmate. Let's see what happens. Todd's teacher is busy writing on the board, shuffling the top. I'm going to pause this real quick. Shuffling the top paper under his shirt. Todd excuses himself to the bathroom. A few minutes and several word changes later, he's got a pretty convincing copy in his backpack. Nice. Performance gain, small. Good deal. And it's almost Christina's birthday. She should be aging up, let's see, in about two days. So we get to celebrate her birthday, and she'll become... She'll become an adult. He wants to uh, su successfully hack. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, oh, work performance looks interesting. I don't think I want to mess with that. So we're going to do the land grab systems. So I'm going to let him go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward. And I finally got to uh, get to work. I, I haven't been able to play it yet. And so I'm really looking forward to do that. I may just do that after I finish... Uh, recording this episode. We'll see what happens, though. All right, it looks like he's starting to get sleepy, so he's gonna have to... He's gonna have to go to sleep at some point. And I think I'll let him level up in his painting skill. And he wants to discuss logic puzzles. I don't know about that one. So, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward through this. Oh, dirty dishes in this. In the refrigerator. That's, that's always fun. Alright, so let's see here. Pete hacked land grab systems and was able to acquire $232 from their accounts. That is freaking awesome. Alright, so let's see here. What does he want to do now? He wants to try to hack something. Again, I may just do that. Let's see. Program, hack. We have the llama corn. And we'll go ahead and we'll do llama corn. Oh, wait. That was 
I thought we got that. Okay, well, never mind. And now he wants to play a video game. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let him finish hacking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward here. Looks like Todd's feeling playful. I wonder... Uh-oh, grades are up. Todd has been working hard, and he is now a grade school B student. Okay, great job, Todd. Let's get that A, though. Uh, Jared is done with school for the day. He is doing satisfactory work, but his teachers at Landgrab Elementary think he could easily improve with just a little bit of extra effort. Uh, so where are these kids? We need to go have a talk with these kids. Where are they? They're over here playing on the, uh, on the jungle gym. So let's start with Jared first. Let's see, more choices. Let's see here. Friendly. Can we ask about grades, or, or is that only when report card comes? Let's see here. More choices. Let's ask about school. Look at him! He's hanging upside down. That's pretty freaking awesome. Alright, Pete hacked Llama Corn List Surf and was able to acquire 142 simoleons from their accounts. Good deal. Good deal. Man, look at look at Todd go. Benor Sneeze. Let's see, let's see here. Narble for boy. Let's express some love. Cause we love our kids. And let's see here. Uh, looks like he's getting tired. Uh, let's discuss logic puzzles. Go ahead and get that out of the way. And now let's ask him about school. Let's see here. More choices. Friendly. Let's ask about school. Alright, he got that. Whimsical. Complete 100 whims across all sims. Good deal. Man, poor Pete. He's looking pretty tired. Let's see here. Let's express love. What is he doing? He's begging for toys. Interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and send Pete to bed. He's He's getting tired. Let's have him uh, woohoo with Christina. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and let's follow that him. Let's see, is that done? Come on, click on it. Clean up. One of the boys should be able to finish that, I hope. Let's see, where is Christina? Oh, she's over here reading a book. Looks like their romance has gone down a little bit. Looks like they're gonna do it. Uh, no pun intended. Well, yes, pun intended. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's what's Todd doing? He's trilling the farms. All right, so supposedly there's a glitch from the last patch where anytime somebody, you know, your Sims woohoo, they get a they get the unsatisfied mullet like every single time. Um, well, I'm not going to give it away because I don't know if everybody's caught up on on that person's um, drifter challenge. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna zip it, keep my mouth shut, and and just not say anything at all about it because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Let's see, are they finished? They're still going. They're still going at it. She's fine. Let's see. She's pleasantly satisfied. That's that's good. And poor guy is unsatisfied. So I wonder if that's a glitch. I hope we don't get that every time because that might make him embarrassed and he might possibly die from embarrassment and that would just suck. I do not want that to happen. So I'm going to let him sleep and I guess we'll just kind of follow everybody else around. And let's see, he's going to go to work tomorrow, on Tuesday, it's Monday. What are these guys doing? He just got finished taking a shower. We need to upgrade some parts, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think I might buy them some more expensive stuff, but I'm going to let Pete go to sleep. And we'll go out collecting some stuff and hope that... In hopes that, uh, oh, what was I talking about? Well, I know I was thinking about I wanted them to get their homework done. That's why I wanted to enable that emotional aura there, but it already is. These kids really need to do their homework, and wow, why did, why did my mind draw a blank like that? That is so, so strange. 
Let's see, she's on the computer. She's trolling the firms. That's what she's doing. And she talks to Todd. I love his glasses. I I really want a pair for myself if I could find them. I think that would be really cool. I mean, those things are pretty badass. Oh, excuse me. Language, sorry. Is she talking to herself? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's see, what's he gonna do? He's eating. Did he go wake? Nope. He's doing his homework! Yay! I am so proud of you. Just don't wake up your dad. Whatever you do, Jared, do not wake up your dad. I am. That's, I think that's the first time I've seen one of them do their homework on their own. Well, no, actually, Todd did once. I do believe. Now, if these other kids will just do their homework. Hey, dude. Todd. Todd, do your homework, buddy. Go do your homework. I love that shirt. That shirt is so freaking awesome. I would wear that shirt in real life. Yes, sir. What's he doing? Oh, a He's going to go take a shower. Didn't he already take a shower, or was that the other one? Oh, and the fridge broke. Well, sir. I guess it's going to be another day of uh, appliances breaking. What is she doing? She's coming over here. Why is everybody coming in here to do their homework, eat their food, as Pete tries to sleep? I, I don't quite get it. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wake him up in just a little bit because he's going to have to go to bed because he goes to work at 9 a.m. So I want to make sure his meter is all the way green there for his sleep. So let's go ahead and let's wake him up. I'm going to have him mop that up and I'm going to have him use that. And then I will have him take a shower. All kinds of stuff I'm having him do. Nope, stop right there. You're not going to go mop something else. You can just wait. Looks like Christina stole the shower from us. Okay, I did put another sink in there. I moved the old one and put a new one in. The, I think I did that in the, the live broadcast. I think. I, I'm not sure. Come on, Todd. I mean, Pete, hurry up, buddy. Let's go ahead and get this mopped up. And he should be good. Yeah, his his daily tasks are, are complete. And so I'll have him mop that up. And we will go ahead and we'll have him repair that. So let's go ahead. Let's fast forward. And then he's going to need something to eat too. So hopefully we can get everything done. Alright, Todd did his homework too. Good job, dude. Good job. Both of the kids did their homework. Now it would be awesome if they would do extra credit, but I'm not going to push my luck. <laughs> I'm not going to push my luck. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to fast forward through this. And he's already getting tired already, that, that really stinks. Let's see, can we breed frogs again? Yep, we sure can. Come on, dude. Mop. And we're going to sell one of these frogs. Hopefully he does not get zapped. That would that would stink. All right, well, let's have him repair. He's focused. That's good. That means he should do okay. And he's getting ready to age up in his uh, handiness skill. So it's a good day. Let's see. As he does that, let's let's kind of see what these guys are doing. All right, Pete reached handiness level four. Awesome. Good job, Pete. Alright, let's have him scavenge that for parts. I know you guys don't like the trash. I'm so, so sorry. Let's see what's in here. No food, so he's he's got to cook. And let's see here. We'll have him cook. Let's see here. Let's make a, a party size of mac and cheese. Well, get up and pick it up, Christina. Whoa, did she reset? That was strange. That was very strange indeed. And everybody's leaving their freaking books on the table. I love it when they do that. Not really. Not really. Come on, Pete. Do a good job, buddy. Let's not set any fires today. Alright. He's gonna eat, and we're gonna put the rest of this macaroni and cheese 
Oh, excellent quality too. Good deal. All right, did that go in? Let me make sure I didn't accidentally throw it away. Okay, good deal. All right, so he's gonna eat. Let's pop. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And looks like everybody else is asleep. He wants to watch sports, but you know, I think we should have him watch the cooking channel to kind of help bring up his cooking skill as he eats, and I think it brings up his fun, so that's that's cool. I, I, I like that. Multitask. Excuse me as I uh, take a swallow of my drink here. I'm just going to fast forward. And it's time for him to go to bed, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send him to bed, and he can go to sleep. And hopefully, since everybody else is asleep, it should go by really, really, really quick. So while he sleeps, let's check to see how much our, our lot is worth. 13,302 simoleons, so we need to get that to 30,000 simoleons after depreciation. So hopefully, it won't take us too much longer to get there. Let's see if we can, we can add some stuff to bring that up a bit. I almost want to put a window over here, because this really bugs me. That there's this space right here. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but just those two windows right there and this empty space right there. You know what? I could probably fix that by putting in, like, a bush or something. Let's see here. Or, like, a tree. But I want something, you know... cover that up. I wish we had some like vines that you could put on the sides of the uh, of the house, but I don't think we we have that. Let's see, I can make this larger, I believe. Can I? There we go. I most certainly could. That's one big hedge, but I think that's a little too big. So I'm not going to do that. That's another really big edge. Alright, let's see what kind of flowers we have. No, I don't think this is going to work. So, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put a, put a pine tree there. Yeah. I'm going to put a pine tree there. Let's see, can I put it a little bit closer to the house without it, you know, poking through the walls, that sort of thing. Looks like I can all right, good deal. And to help raise the price of the house, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the time of day here. Let's see. Let's go to outdoor, and let's go ahead and let's put them in a, like a little a little sidewalk. This is also going to help raise the price of our house. Let's see. What color do I like? I think I like that better. And this little thing right here, I have no idea what that is, but that's like gonna bug the heck out of me. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's draw a little bit of dirt. Let's see, dirt and sand. We need a little bit of dirt to go around the base of this tree. I don't think that one matches, but I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do that. There we go. And for kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and let's fill this in. Oops, a little too much there. That's alright, it's a little uneven, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And do we have an outside light? We need to go ahead and add an outside light. So let's go to our lighting, let's go to our wall lights, and let's see what we have. Do we have anything cool? Oh, that's from Get to Work. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that, but not for this house. So I think uh, for this desert home, we're going to go with this harmonic. And I think I want to put that right about there. Yeah, that works. Let's see. Absolutely. That absolutely works. 
All right, so let's go back in live mode, and now let's go back into build mode, and let's see if we raised it up some more. Let's see here, 13,506, not quite much. Well, that stinks. Oh well. That's okay. So, he should be getting enough time. Oh, well, go to bed, dude. I mean, go to the bathroom. I, sorry, I just, my brain's not functioning today. Or tonight, rather. All right, go to the bathroom. All right, he's going to the bathroom, so he should be good to go. He should be good to go. All right, so I'm just going to fast forward. What is he doing now? He's going to eat some macaroni and cheese because he's hungry. It's 3 a.m. His butt should be in bed. He's got school tomorrow. He's not going to watch TV? Let's see. Good. Focusing the core. Maybe that'll make him do some extra credit. I, I don't know. That would be that would be awesome if you would. But I wouldn't count on it. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Alright, I guess we get to clean this up for him. I guess he's watching the kids' channel. And let's see here. What's Jared doing? Jared's going in the bathroom. We'll give him some privacy. Well, that was kind of creepy. He's turning that off. He's going to go play some video games, maybe. Now he's going to take the trash out. Look at him. He's such a good kid. Both of these boys are, are really good kids. I'm, they've done pretty good so far. I wish they would have been doing their homework a lot sooner, but there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. So it's 4.23 a.m. in-game for these Sims, and Pete goes to work in five hours. And let's see here. It looks like uh, Jared is going to eat some macaroni and cheese as well, and Todd's coming to chat with him. He's joking about chicken butt. <laughs> hey, guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> Twerking new that's something I tell my nieces and nephews all the time anytime they come up to me and say, Hey, guess what? And I'm like, chicken butt. <laughs> oh, I wonder what these guys are talking about. They're just they're just chatting. They're twins. I imagine they'll be pretty close the rest of their lives. Play make-believe. Poor kids don't have too many toys that they can play with. That's kind of sad. Let's see, Christina should be waking up soon. Where is she babe? These kids are so freaking adorable. And no, not because it belongs to my sims that I created, but you know. Okay, maybe I'm a little partial. So it looks like they're going to go play on the monkey birds. Where's he going? He's going over here to wash in the wash the dishes in the sink that's in the bathroom. Okay, that works. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward here. Because I'm just about out of time, unfortunately. It seems like 25 minutes has gone by really fast, and it may have been a little bit longer than 25 minutes because I forgot... Oh, Jared did his homework. Good deal. Because I forgot to set my timer for the first few minutes, so my time might be off just a little bit. What are they doing? I missed it! What were they doing? Now they're hugging. They get along pretty good. That's good. He needs to go to work focused, so let's try to get him focused before he leaves. And we'll do that by having him view that painting. But he doesn't go to work for another two hours. But it looks like I'm going to have to pause it here anyways, because my timer is going to go off here in about 20 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop on that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here. And so yeah, we did get we didn't get too much accomplished in today's episode, but it was a good episode. We had a lot of fun, I think. Um, the boys finally did their homework. Uh, Pete had to repair the uh, refrigerator. He had to do a little bit of cleaning up, and uh, we added we added the pine tree to the front of the house, and we added them a, a little sidewalk and a uh, front porch light, which looks like it's sitting a little too high. So I'm going to go ahead and go into build mode, and I'm going to lower that right now. 
or maybe it's not setting too high I don't know it seems too high I'm just gonna leave it at that and so far our house is worth 13,506 simoleons and that's after depreciation so now we just need to get it up to 30,000 simoleons and we need to wait for Todd and Jared to age up but thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a awesome day I'll see you guys on next Thursday with more episodes of the Drifter Challenge. And don't forget, the new rules for House 2 are already out, so make sure you check out Vahisha's blog. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like the video if you liked it, and don't forget to leave some comments, because comments are awesome. I love interacting with you guys, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.